We do start this hour with breaking news on the economy. A major sigh of relief on Wall Street today as we learned just moments ago that 223,000 jobs were added last month, a much needed boost after disappointing numbers back in March. Now, the unemployment rate ticked down one notch to 5.4%. That is the lowest level in seven years. Our chief business correspondent, Christine Romans, is following the numbers as always. So tell us what it means. A sigh of relief on Wall Street and a sigh of relief on Main Street, Carol. And that's what's really important. Here, because in March we saw that jobs were not created very briskly, only 85,000 jobs created. That was a real worry, but it was temporary. A strong recovery in the month of April, 223,000 jobs created. You can see that trend here is what's important here that you're creating jobs again and again. The unemployment rate here falling to the lowest in seven years, 5.4%, the lowest in seven years. That's again what's important here that the trend has been going down, down, down. Let me personalize this for you. Nurses were hired, hospital workers were hired, people who work at clinics and those ambulatory centers, those healthcare centers away from hospitals, lots of hiring there, computer system design, management consultants, tech consultants, construction, you get my drift. There were a lot of different kinds of jobs created and some of them higher paid. We saw wages go up 2.2%. That's an incredibly important number there as well. African American male unemployment, this is a number we've been watching and talking about very very uh, aggressively, really, since Baltimore and over the past year or so, 9.2%, Carol, the first time since 2008, it's below double digits. Again, a drop in the black male unemployment rate. We want to see that continue as the job market gets stronger. Now I'm going to go all the way back to 1975 for you. Why am I going back that far? Because this is a, this is a really important chart you're going to be hearing more about as the 2016 presidential race gets underway in full swing. This is the labor force participation rate. This is the percentage of the American population considered in the labor market. Either they have a job, they're looking for a job, or they're unemployed. They haven't dropped out. This number is still too low. This number is the lowest it's been in decades. Some people say that means there are too many people who aren't included in this labor market, who have to be pulled back in, have to find a place still, that this is still a weak pot spot of the uh, recovery overall. But again, I like what I see on the overall job creation. I like what I see on the trend. I like what I see on the unemployment rate. And I like that there are broad-based jobs created here, Carol, some that pay more than just uh, retail workers uh, and people who well, work well, tell for me that. Tell me that number again. You say that 65% of the population less today, 65%. less than 65% are not working. No, this is 65% of the population, less than that, in the, in the mid-60s, are considered part of the labor market. You want to see that number much, much bigger. And today uh, it is. That and today, today, it's right down here in the mid-60s, the way it was way back uh, in the 70s. And this number is still too low. This number needs to be higher. If this number gets higher, it will suggest more people are in the labor market, are involved in the labor market. Now, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be hearing this a lot over the next uh, months as we go through this 2016 presidential election. All right, Christine Romans, thanks as you're always. Welcome. I appreciate it.